HorseScholar.com presents a review of the Matt Damon movie Green Zone. The Green Zone is Matt Damon's latest action thriller and it's set in Iraq during the first few weeks of the Iraq War. Matt plays a chief warrant officer who leads a team tasked with finding WMD sites. Of course, they keep coming up empty so Matt's character reluctantly veers from procedure to figure out what's going on. Green Zone is a very exciting military political thriller. The military part of the movie is strong on proper procedure and protocol, and the political part is strong on espionage and war politics. The filmmakers got most of the politics right in regards to the complexity and some of the irony of the war, but it's when they get to the conspiracy part where viewer opinions will differ. Some people will cheer the attack on the WMD justification for the war, and some will hate that part of the movie. I personally thought that part went a little too far, but hey, that's fiction for you. Either way, the non-political part of the movie is very good. The acting is strong and the pace fit fast and thrilling. The characters make sense even, even if they are a bit two-dimensional. There's lots of great vehicle action and military gun battles, and the camera work is great. There's some tension, but not a whole lot of mystery. The movie aims to give you an adrenaline rush, and it does. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. I was going to give it three and a half stars, but because of some fantastic overhead shots of the war zone and excellent set design, I'll go ahead and give it four out of five stars.